Hello world and welcome back to another episode of the Dude Pool Games Cast. I'm the host as always, the Dude 250, Nikki D, hanging out with my man on the couch. Riding this bitch with me is Aliens Exist, aka Taylor Seger. Hey guys. And coming all the way from the great UK, my man Danny Peel, aka Brutal Nature. How are we today? I'm tremendous. That's right, you are, you big beautiful I am. bastard. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, how's everybody doing? What's everybody playing? Anything interesting? Mm, I'm just I'm getting through Batman. Um, gonna get to the end. I want to see that ending. I'm obviously just gonna YouTube the real ending because <sighs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> the Hitler spend, trophies are too much yeah, for you. I'm not gonna spend my entire <laughs> life looking for Hitler trophies. Yeah, that's what they feel like. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've resorted to calling the Riddler now. Yeah. <laughs> The Hitler trophies. <laughs> Danny, what you playing? I actually got uh, Far Cry 4 in the PSN sale mm. for £15. Yeah, pound. Was, well, I couldn't resist. Okay. So, yeah, I've been it's enjoying that deal. quite a bit. It's a yeah, sexy, game. sexy game, and we're going to get some decent it's little let's game. plays out of it, I'm sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. Yeah, I'm still bombing through Fallout. I'm kind of just putting my head down and going through the main, main storyline these days, so we'll get through that. Right. And then put it on the shelf for a little while and come mm -hmm. back to it after I finish Metal Gear or something. Right on. Yeah. What you want to do? Other than that, we also picked up uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer on oh, yeah. uh, the PSN, so yeah. we'll we'll get to playing that soon. Yeah, they added a couple more uh, Star Wars games and stuff like that to the PS2. Yeah, and Bounty on Hunters PS4. on there. Yeah, so go, oh, well. go have a look if you if you haven't seen those yet. I'm picking yeah, it the up. The Pod Racer one is sweet. Yeah, man. It's sweet. <laughs> on that note, I think we'll get to the first topic of the day, and I think we're gonna start with me. What? Yeah! <laughs> and my topic for the day is simple yet eloquent because it's Mass Effect. Mm. Nice. Mm. Mm. I love me some Mass Effect, probably my favorite game franchise of all time. And I just kind of wanted to discuss where it's going and what our expectations of it and pure speculation because I <laughs> like such things. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely, man. So here's what we know at the moment. We know it's been over three years since Mass Effect 3. We knew everybody was satisfied with the ending. <laughs> and we know that they've been working on Mass Effect Andromeda <laughs> since at least autumn of 2012. <laughs> okay. Now that's a fair amount of time. Yeah, that's that's to, to make a game. Um, I think it's fair to to say that the scope in size, like length of the game, is going to be bigger than the previous three. I would hope it's as big as Dragon Age Inquisition was, the other most recent yeah, yeah. Bioware game. Right. I hope the maps are a little bit bigger. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean. Yep. yep. Yeah. I hope that the, yeah. you can jump a little bit better. <laughs> yes, I agree. But uh, not that that's a huge thing in... in no, I hope it's totally different. Well, it's a shooter and different controls, and it's kind of like a shooter. But uh, I, yeah, I hope it's... Because the other games you can finish in, what, say 30 hours, roughly? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Am I wrong, Dan? Yeah. I'll go with that, yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. Right? I, right, I finished Dragon Age in about 95 yeah. hours, so that's kind of the playtime I'm hoping for. And it makes sense to given that most games these days are getting bigger and fucking bigger. Yep. And, and I, yeah. Yep. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be huge. I think you're you're going to have the same sort of exploration sort of deal like you did in the last ones where you can go down to just random planets and find like random loot and shit like that. And I really hope that they do. Like, you the, could only do that in the first one. Uh, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't go down and, and find loot? No, you probed the you planet. Yeah, I, I thought that you go could down still there. find on certain ones, like little. No, like if you go went to an actual planet that was like a map, because yeah. there was hundreds of planets in mm -hmm. two and three, mm -hmm. but you could only probe mm -hmm. them. Uh -huh. But you could only go down to ones that were actually levels that had missions oh, and I shit see. like that. Yeah, I thought that there was, and even that there was little, they were fairly linear planets because yeah. they were like built in corridors or you could even see on the map. Yeah, like definitely. there's probably a piece of loot there because yeah. it's a fucking dead end with nothing yeah. in it. Right. Yeah. I hope it's more open ended than that. Yeah. They've they've promised that they have they've actually haven't promised. They totally straight up said the Mako's coming back from the oh, first game, cool. but it's going to be greatly improved. They say. Hmm. So cool. I don't know what that means, but uh, 
I'm, I, it's on wheels again. Because in the third one, they had that other flight vehicle, right? It wasn't really the Mako, but it kind of hovered around. Mm-hmm. Right. This one in the trailer, yeah. they show it flying down, and <laughs> crash landing, yeah. and driving off on the six wheels again. So that was pretty, Looks that's pretty solid. Yeah. They say it's a totally new protagonist, no returning characters, but he's going to... I think they were hinting at the fact that he's going to be totally different. They said he's going to be nothing like Shepard. Hmm. And so is he going to be like like Han Solo, Scav, Scaver, and the oh uh, maybe? Space? But they the only thing we see at the end of the trailer they show the guy get up from the galaxy map and walk, but he's in full armor, so you can't tell a if it's a guy or a girl. Right, probably both. Yeah, I would yeah. assume. Um, but he gets up very aggressively and kind of walks towards the camera. So I'm thinking he's going to be like in a pretty aggressive like. Maybe a badass, maybe a hint of a really? little dark side to a little him. Kylo. A little like, Kylo, maybe? Yeah, yeah, something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Just a hint. I don't know. But uh, isn't that like a huge, uh, or was like a huge game mechanic in the game, is that you could choose whether you wanted to be good or bad? Good or bad, yes, but it wasn't really good or bad. You were always a good person, but you might have oh, been just a bit more aggressive and, or yeah, intimidating right. when you had to be, right? This guy, maybe it's a bit more that way right. like maybe you can it can be a little like bit of a you can kill motherfuckers who knows yeah maybe you can, evil side. Uh, it would be sweet if there was a tone yeah. tone shift like that yeah. where you could be super good mm-hmm. or like super evil mm-hmm. and that maybe plays out and changes the course of the game mm-hmm. and stuff like that yeah if you could right. like if if you could be get in different mission lines you know like mm-hmm. you can you can do the good side mission lines or you could like you know and you eventually end up with a battle with this evil dude or you could like do evil side mission lines from the evil dude and eventually fight the main good guy or whatever mm-hmm. i think that that'd be cool i mean i'm really more interested in how the fuck they're gonna do the story i know it takes place in a separate galaxy and mm-hmm. they say it's gonna be a totally different story no returning characters but they w- it will what did i say i said it's disconnected they said it's disconnected from three but there's a few nods to the events of the first like three games, right? right. So I don't know what that means. Uh, It'll probably just be like, like people, like people have heard something or like heard um, a little boom like, when yeah. everything <laughs> fucking blew up. All the mass relays are gone. Yeah. Maybe that's that. So that's one of my theories is that all the mass relays blew up, and you're this lost fucking ship out in the Andromeda galaxy, oh, trying to find yeah. a way back to, to our the, galaxy to, right to see if we can. Cool. See what the fuck happened, and yeah, that would be go there, cool. and you're like, "Oh my god, we're all C-3PO's." <laughs> what are you looking for from this game, Danny? Well, I mean, I watched the trailers, and I, I really, I don't know. I mean, I played, I played one, two, and three um, a couple of times actually. I think two was mm-hmm. the first one I played on PS3, um, and that, I mean, they're stuff. awesome, right? They're awesome mm-hmm. games, like. Just the, the whole thing, carrying your character over, and he's there in the next game. It's just amazingly yeah. cool. But I haven't, I haven't stopped to think about Andromeda because where do you start to think about it? You know, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're so creative with what they do. I mean, how many developers could create such a believable sort of galaxy like that and have all those races and stuff? So, I mean, I, I figure they'll do, they'll tread similar ground but uh I'm sure they'll be progressed yeah. in the in the gameplay and obviously visuals and stuff well, hopefully we'll get another interesting I story and yeah i don't know i mean the story is what i really play them for so we'll see i hope i hope they keep the same writer drew carpishian he was really really good right. like and i also yeah. i read all the ex- the extended universe stuff the novels the, right. the one that came mm. I, i've read three or three or four of them Fuck, mm-hmm. they are good. It's just really good yeah. writing. He's also done a bunch of Star Wars books and stuff right. They've that have been since discredited. Yep. Expanded mm-hmm. Universe Non-canon. stuff. Got thrown away, but... Right. Yeah, I hope they keep the same writer. The only the trailer doesn't really show much. It does like a swipe, a screen swipe of a whole bunch of different planets. Like it shows you. Right. It's, I think it's all pre-rendered shit, but it sh- does show evidence of life on the planet, which, which I thought was a bit... Yeah, barren in the yeah. first couple games, yeah, yeah. or at least the first one when you could actually go down to the random planets. Sure. It was just fucking just asteroids, yeah. basically, yeah, dead, with yeah. a couple of those big uh, uh, thresher maws that came out. Yeah, but in this, they show like some weird flying animals <clears throat> and other creatures running through the grasslands, and it just looks more fleshed out and more in- environmental. You have like right. 
lush green grasslands and forests, and then you have your moon asteroid type planets and <laughs> desert planets, and it just looks more filled out. That's Whereas good. before, like the desert planet was just there's some sand. Now there's like valleys and hills and giant sand dunes and right. shit like that, and weather effects. Whether all that makes it into the game beats yeah, me. Good question. But yeah, I really hope that they have like completely new. Uh, alien races. I don't want to see any of the old races. You will see all of the old so. races. Oh, they've already said you're going to see. Oh, really? You're going to see. You won't see any of the same characters, yeah, but yeah, they will but be all the same races. Same, yeah. All <laughs> they didn't say all, but you'll see the same races. That doesn't mean there won't be new ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're but there, you will see stuff. existing <laughs> alien races. So, like, was there how how did they get around like to the different galaxies? Because they're like the mass relays are obviously gone. They're gone was now. There ever a mass relay that went to Andromeda before? They, they never talked never about it. But that was the one thing that. Uh, has been speculated was maybe this takes place or at least starts around the time of the first game when Commander Shepard before he becomes a Spectre brings the Reaper threat to the uh, the Citadel and the uh, what do they call them the three fucking dudes the council yeah, yeah, yeah. They bring it to the council and the council totally dismisses him and says ah, there's no Reaper threat you guys are dumb what <laughs> What they're speculating is that secretly this, the Council sent out this ship to the Andromeda Galaxy to see if there was any planets they could cultivate life on or terraform or something like right. that, right? <laughs> Go out and explore this other galaxy, see if A, you could find maybe a Reaper home base or whatever, right? Who knows? That's the <laughs> speculation is that when that happened, they were like, okay, we need to put a plan B just in case Shepard is right, send out mm. this team. <laughs> and then just kept right. it secret. <laughs> I that like, sounds very cool, government. That's a cool idea, but I think I would prefer it if he's just like some random dude just doing his own thing, and it's just like like certain circumstances maybe. The, like I I would form. hate that. He's in N seven armor in the trailer. Right, yeah, that's weird. you yeah, have that's to point. connect that's it weird. back. That's weird to the yeah. Citadel. I thought like I don't get like why would you? <laughs> you're like yeah, it's a new galaxy, no returning like characters. That's what they, they never said. They never said that. You just said that. Oh yeah, but they never said it was totally disconnected. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I feel right. like it should be. I like, or just that's just my own opinion on it. Like, ah. I would much rather it just be like some random dude. Yeah, he's just like he's just Han Solo and his ass out trying to make a buck <laughs> in deep space Andromeda. But the and effects then, of three you know, were so just, fucking like, big; it has to have ramifications into another game. Yeah, I mean, you can you don't have to ignore the other games, but you don't have to like make it so that he's from our same galaxy or uh -huh. whatever like I don't like that like not that I'm saying that that that's the way it's going to be but I would prefer if he's just if it's just like a new story and like these events did happen so there is like effects from those events in his story but like it's like completely new ah you don't want I got you I would rather it that way myself. who knows how it's going to go down uh, they have to connect it I think properly yeah uh, they have to yeah Make him make him part of the same sort of dealio, or they have to connect it. Connect so it. they have to connect it so that it makes it a, a universe, like a like, sequel to the other games. No, it's not. Like it doesn't have to be a sequel. It isn't a sequel, really. It's a standalone. There's no number at the end of it. It's just yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah. But it's the start of a new one. But they kind of have to connect it the same way Star Wars would have to connect it. You know, just to try and franchise it from the, from better or lack of a better term. You know, you need yeah. to. Same universe. Have that world. You have to have that universe, right? People are l obsessed yeah. with that these days. You got to connect everything: yeah. the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the yeah. TV universes and all that stuff. Yeah. It all has to be connected because you have. When you can draw those parallels, it just makes it more appealing to people. I think. Sure. Yeah, but I like I like how um, like it, like in Daredevil, uh, the the Netflix show, um, it's like he's part of the world and like he acknowledges that these events are going on, but it's like. It, they might as well not be because it's the, like the, he just kind of acknowledges them in passing and it's kind of like yeah this is sort of the sure. reason why we're here but this entire story and all these characters and everything that you're about to like you know watch and, and enjoy none of this has been like talked about in other shows we're not like we don't have to get him to go and meet Captain America oh you will <laughs> oh you think so dude you don't think these TV guys are going to be in the Infinity Wars you're crazy they need every hero they can. Oh, I didn't even know they were doing that. You didn't know they were doing Infinity Wars? That's wow. where the Avengers okay. is going to. No, I didn't Thanos know. and shit. Oh, You've yeah. been under a rock? No, I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chaos Glove, yeah. Or Chaos whatever. Glove. 
Yeah. Infinity thing. Gauntlet. Infinity wow. Gauntlet. Oh my God! Back to Mass <laughs> Effect. Because I just lost respect for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. yeah. Mass Effect. Yeah, I mean, I, oh, I, I just hope it's a bigger game. I hope... They've already said that they're doing co-op multiplayer. Nice. Uh, yeah, I so that's the thing. I, I hope that was not just an EA decision. Mm. You know? Me too. Online multiplayer, you're saying? Yeah. That sounds exciting. Does it? Do you think you can do... Was it exciting for three? Because I feel like you don't even know that multiplayer existed in the franchise. Uh, no, not at all. There you go. So how exciting but, uh, was it in three? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't play it at all. It wasn't terrible. Actually, it was serviceable. It was better than I thought it was going to be. I bought yeah. the game used, and you had to buy. They had separate codes or whatever that you needed to get online. I remember oh. that being a thing. And I was like, I'm not going to pay you guys extra because you wanted to put in an online code that only you know the first person who bought it could use. Sure. Yeah, that was the thing. No, that was the thing that was going on for like five years or yeah. so. They were doing those online passes. Yeah. yeah. But that was just to keep. Uh, that was try to. Yeah. Buck the used game market. Yeah. yeah. Now they just go digital. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm excited because I I like the idea. Like I I'm excited that La that uh, sorry not Last of Us that Uncharted Four has uh, multiplayer. Even though I've never played any multiplayers in the other Uncharted's. But right. I mean I feel like I could you know I would give it a try on a new one or whatever. Well, it, in in with... Mass Effect it's just a horde mode. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, That's well, all it is. Yeah, it's not a co-op single player like oh, campaign sucks. type or thing. There's that you're no thinking death of. matches. It's no just matches. a horde mode just, against AI. No, that sucks. That kind of sucks. I mean, that's I, I like the horde modes, but I mean, you could just be like, oh, horde mode. The the problem is, like, it got shoehorned into three, and they made it fucking integral to the single player campaign, so yeah. they would force people to play it. It was a fucking oh, really? grab. I hated it, Damn. but it was clearly an EA decision, not a Bioware decision, because that's the EA acquired Bioware, I think, around the development mm -hmm. of three, yep. and then they put their fingers all up in it. Yeah, all up in their booby holes and changed everything. <laughs> uh, yep, and then and I think that's part of the reason three ended the way that it ended was they had to split their development team and say, all right, you guys go work on multiplayer, we'll do the single player, and they had to cut time from their single player f experience. Right. right. So they rushed the ending. Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. I'm satisfied with that ending. Just I for like the it. record, I'm going on record and saying that ending was fine <laughs> for me. You little whiny babies. Yeah. Synthesis, yeah. right? I like the synthesis yeah. ending. It works. It, I mean, yeah, it's got it's got loopholes and whatever, but so does everything if you look for it. Totally, yeah. everything. Just, everything does. Yeah. yeah, just enjoy it, you know. Yeah. That uh, people uh, were so upset about the ending of three that spoilers. When Morden dies in three, I almost fucking cried, and not a lot of games do that. Hit me or it do that well at like character development and getting me to care about the team that sure. I've spent two games mm -hmm. building, mm -hmm. and yeah. then that moment was so fucking impactful for everybody that I have talked to that has played the game. Says, "Holy right. shit, what a moment!" But the ending totally overshadowed points like that, and and three was filled with moments like that for me. Uh, the the good. invasion of Vancouver was awesome. Yeah. Like I really enjoyed that. Maybe a bit more because we're it's we a, live in Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a bit of a you know, oh my god, I've been there. Yeah. Kind of a thing. <laughs> it's probably why the people in Chicago really really like Watch Dogs, even though it's kind of like not yeah. like cool. But <laughs> <laughs> it was a decent game. It was a seven to eight out of ten. I'll yeah. give it that. But I digress. It's kind of what I'm. What I just want Mass Effect to be bigger, longer, uh, a bit more polished in the um, vehicles when you're driving Certainly. around. Uh, I mean, the Mako was fun, but mostly like comedy kind of fun. Yeah. Oh my God, it's yeah. still floating yeah. and doing flips. <laughs> that is amazing, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm excited to hear more in the coming. Mm, pro okay, they got to talk about it soon. We we probably got to see a hell of a lot about it at E3. E3 and to be honest with you, huge. the fact that we haven't seen anything and EA loves the hype train, I bet you it gets delayed. Yeah. They say holiday 2016. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Did uh, did uh, Dragon Age get a delay? Do you remember? I have no idea. I don't think it did. I was underwhelmed by that game as well, but. Yeah. 
But yeah. to be honest, it I'm was, way more sci-fi than high fantasy. Yeah, it was a good Dragon Age game. Like uh, comparing comparing it to the first one, it was it felt it felt like the first one, and the other and the one after the first one is not as good. So the one which we do not speak of. Yeah, yeah, we okay. do not speak its name. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I thought it felt good. I mean, it's it's. A little it's just clunkier than some of the other which um, worries me that's what that's what worries me i don't want mass effect to be clunky i like yes. i want it to be smooth as yeah. shit. I, but I, I don't know if it's two separate teams i don't know because bioware i'm sure yeah. has, has multiple teams um i don't like because if going back to like knights of the old republic i felt that that was kind of more clunky and like on like that same sort of um dragon age sort of scale for that sort of clunkiness yeah. and i've always felt that mass effect was way smoother than all of those so i feel like I agree. it might just be the way that they have to do it for like i don't know shooting battles or something like that it's just, well that's it's just it it's an over the shoulder third person shooter as yeah. opposed to rpg hack and melee, slash yeah. type stuff yeah. and magic yeah different yeah different systems entirely yeah and it's yeah like you you get your in in dragon age and stuff like that you get your characters into little um like attacking like gambits or whatever into like little things where they're going to attack for you and that's just not a thing really i guess in mass effect which i think is better a better way to do it that you're just controlling all of the fighting yep sure hey man yeah i think it's gonna be good uh yeah mass effect Mass Look out, effect. holiday 2016. Hopefully. On that note, that's that for that topic. It is. I think we'll move on to topic number two.